rational numbers let us understand what is the need to study rational numbers in mathematics we frequently come across simple equations which we need to solve for example x plus 7 is equal to 12 so x is equal to 5 so x equals to 5 is the solution of this equation which is a natural number on the other hand if you have an equation like this x plus 29 is equal to 29 so x is equal to 0 so x equals to 0 is the solution of this equation if you just knew about natural numbers then the solution of this type of equation is not possible for this you should be aware of whole numbers however there are certain equations just by knowing whole numbers also you will not be able to solve let us take one example suppose you have an equation like this x plus 7 is equal to 3 so x is equal to minus 4 so which is a integer so to solve such types of equation you should be aware of integers so now one may think that you know enough numbers to solve all types of simple equations. Let me write down two more equations. Suppose if you have an equation like this, 3x is equal to 5. So x is equal to 5 by 3. Clearly you can see that this is not an integer. If you have an equation like this, 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. So x is equal to minus 2 by 3. You can see that this is also not an integer. So if you just knew about integers, then the solution of these types of equations is not possible. This leads us to the collection of rational numbers. I hope you must have understood what is the need of studying rational numbers. You have already seen some basic operations on rational numbers. Let us now discuss properties of rational numbers. First property which we are going to discuss is closure property. You know that all numbers are closed under addition. What does it mean? It means that whenever you add any two whole numbers, you will always get a whole number. Let me explain you with the help of few examples. Suppose you have two whole numbers here, 2 and 3. When you add two whole numbers, you get a whole number here which is 5. You add 0 and 29, you get 29. So here you have added two whole numbers. You got a whole number. Similarly, integers are also closed under addition. That means whenever you add any two integer, you always get an integer. So here we are adding two integers. Say 36 plus minus 10. What do you get? 26. So you have here you have added two integers and you got one integer. Let us take one more example. Minus 9 plus minus 6. So here also we are adding two integers and we got one integer minus 15. So you can see that integers are closed under addition. What about rational numbers? Let us first quickly recall the definition of a rational number. So what are rational numbers? Rational numbers are the numbers which can be written in the form of P by Q where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to 0. For example, minus 2 by 3, 9 by 4, 0, 1. All these are rational numbers because you have integer in the numerator, integer in the denominator and the denominator is not equal to 0. All the numbers which you have studied till now, natural numbers, whole numbers and integers all are rational numbers because you can express it in the form of P by Q where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to 0. We will now discuss the closure property of rational numbers. Are rational numbers closed under addition? Let us understand this with the help of one example. 3 by 8 
and minus 7 by 3. So here we are adding two rational numbers. This is a positive rational number and this is a negative rational number. So you can clearly see the denominators are different. First you need to make the denominators same by taking the LCM and the LCM for 8 and 3 is 24. So here you have to multiply in both numerator and denominator by 3. So what will you get? 9 by 24. And here we have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 8. So you will get minus 56 by 24. Now you can add them easily. So when you add it, plus 9 minus 56, you will get minus 47 in the numerator and denominator is 24. So minus 47 by 24 is a rational number. So here you have added two rational numbers and got a rational number. You can try out with some more examples and you will see that whenever you add any two rational numbers, you will always get a rational number. It means that rational numbers are closed under addition. Let us write down here for any two rational numbers A and B, A plus B is a rational number. That means rational numbers are closed under addition. Subtraction. You know that whole numbers are not closed under subtraction. What does it mean? It means that whenever you are subtracting any two whole numbers, you will not always get a whole number. For example, let us take two whole numbers. Here we are subtracting 7 from 2. And we, are, we will get minus 5. So here you are subtracting two whole numbers and you got an integer. So you can clearly see that whole numbers are not closed under subtraction. But integers are closed under subtraction. It means that whenever you will subtract any two integers, you will always get an integer. Let us understand this with the help of one example. Minus 9 and from this you will subtract say minus 6. So what do you get here? Minus into minus will become plus. So minus 9 plus 6 gives you minus 3. So you can see here that you are subtracting two integers and you are getting an integer. You can try out yourself with some more examples. And you will see that whenever you are subtracting any two integers, you will always get an integer. What about rational numbers? Are rational numbers closed under subtraction? Let us understand this with the help of one example. Suppose you have a positive rational number here, 5 by 7. And one negative rational number, minus 3 by 5. So here you can clearly see the denominators are different. So to make the denominator same, you need to take the LCM and the LCM for 7 and 5 is 35. So here you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 5. So what will you get here? 25 upon 35. And this minus sign I am writing as it is. Here you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 7. So what will you get here? Minus 21 upon 35. So this minus into minus will become plus. So what will you get here? 5 plus 1 is 6, 2 plus 2 is 4. So this is 46 upon 35. So you can see that here you have subtracted one rational number from another rational number and you got a rational number. You can try out yourself with some more examples and you will find that whenever you are subtracting a rational number from a rational number, you will always get a rational number. That means it is closed under subtraction. Let us write down. For any two rational numbers A and B A minus B is a rational number. That means it is always closed under subtraction. Multiplication. You know that whole numbers are closed under multiplication. 
whenever you multiply any two whole numbers, you will always get a whole number. For example, 12 into 3 is 36. 0 into 49, you get 0. So you can see here that you have multiplied two whole numbers and you've got a whole number. Similarly for integers, whenever you multiply any two integers, you will always get an integer. For example, minus 9 into minus 6. Here minus into minus will become plus. 9 into 6 is 54. So you have multiplied two integers and you got an integer. Let us take one more example. Suppose you are multiplying minus 11 and 4. So what do you get here? Minus 44. So here this is minus and here it is plus. So minus into plus is minus. So you can see that whenever you are multiplying any two integers, you got an integer. That means integers are closed under multiplication. Similarly for rational numbers as well. Whenever you multiply any two rational numbers, you will always get a rational number. Let us take one example. Suppose you have minus 2 upon 5 into 3 upon 9. So here this is a negative rational number and this is a positive rational number. Here you can cancel 3 and 9. So now minus 2 into 1, what do you get? Minus 2, 5 into 3 is 15. So minus 2 upon 15 is a rational number. Let us take one more example. Suppose you have 7 upon 3 into 5 upon 9. So here also you are multiplying two rational numbers. So 7 into 5 is 35 upon 9 into 3 is 27. So here you have multiplied two positive rational numbers. You got a rational number. Now let us generalize it for any two rational numbers A and B A into B is a rational number. It means that rational numbers are closed under multiplication. Division. You know that whole numbers are not closed under division. For example, 2 is a whole number. You are dividing by 3 which is a whole number and you get 2 by 3. So you can clearly see that this is not a whole number. So we say that whole numbers are not closed under division. You can try out yourself with some more examples. Even integers are not closed under division. For example, minus 5 by 4. So here minus 5 is an integer, 4 is an integer and when you divide these two integers you get minus 5 by 4. This is not an integer. Try out yourself and you will see that Integers are not closed under division. What about rational numbers? Let us understand this with the help of your examples. Suppose you have a rational number minus 5 by 3. You have to divide this by 2 by 4. So here you are dividing these two rational numbers. So minus 5 by 3 you write down as it is. Division changes to multiplication. And you need to take the reciprocal of this number. That means 4 will go in the numerator and 2 will come in the denominator. If you have any common factor, you can cancel it. So what do you get here? In numerator, minus 10 and denominator you have 3 because 3 into 1 is 3. So minus 10 by 3 is a rational number. Let us take one more example. Suppose you have a rational number 24 upon 5. You have to divide this by 0. So you are here you are dividing. 24 by 5 by 0. So you know that when you do this, what is the answer? It is not defined. So you did not get a rational number. Only for this particular case, suppose there is a rational number A, whenever you divide it by 0, it is not defined. 
Otherwise, in rest, all other cases, whenever you will divide a rational number, you will always get a rational number. Only because when you divide any rational number by zero, you will always get not defined. You will not get a rational number. That is why we say that rational numbers are not closed under division. That means whenever you divide any two rational numbers, you will not always get a rational number. Let us write it down. Rational numbers are not closed under division, commutativity, addition. You know that for whole numbers, addition is commutative. It means for any two whole numbers, A and B, A plus B is equal to B plus A. For example, 2 plus 3 which is 5, it is same as 3 plus 2 which is also 5. Similarly, for integers, addition is commutative for integers as well. For any two integers, A and B, A plus B is equal to B plus A. Same thing. For example, minus 6 plus minus 5. So here you will get minus 11. Similarly here, minus 5 plus minus 6. Here also minus 11. So both the sides it is minus 11. So for integers as well, addition is commutative. Let us see for rational numbers. For any two rational numbers, a and b is a plus b equals to b plus a. Let us see that. Here, there are, I have taken two rational numbers. First is minus 2 by 3 and second one is 5 by 7. This is a negative rational number and this is a positive rational number. So here the denominators are different. So you need to make the denominators same by taking the LCM. And the LCM is 21. So here you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 7. So what will you get here? Minus 14 upon 21. And here you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 3. So here you will get 15 upon 21. So what will you get here? 1 upon 21. So when you added these two numbers, you got 1 upon 21. Now the order is changed. So here, uh, minus 2 by 3, I am adding it to 5 by 7. So here also same thing. The LCM is 21. So here I have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 3. So you will get here 15 upon 21. And here you have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 7. So you will get here minus 14 upon 21. So when you add these two numbers, you get 1 upon 21. So you can clearly see that here if you take this as A and this as B. So A plus B is equal to B plus A. You can try out yourself with some more examples. So even for rational numbers, addition is commutative. That means for any two rational numbers, A and B, A plus B is equal to B plus A. So this is addition is commutative for rational numbers. You can add them in any order. Here we are adding B to A and here we are adding A to B. Both will give you the same result. That is why there is an equals to sign here.